what you guys just want me to all right yeah i can do that am i good okay <sighs> hello my name is sam i am a sorcerer you could also call me a wizard if you want but the uh wizard purists might get really angry with that one where do we even begin with this Recently, I've been adapting to a lifestyle change. Not for the better. Nothing like going vegan or trying to have a zero-waste household. No, nothing like that. Uh, recently, I have started living with doppelgangers of myself. And they are not kind. Which I guess means I'm not kind. Uh, they have certain differences about them. Like defining traits. It's quite strange. I'll split them up. We've got me, the original, the one I've come to call Gamer Sam, although he might just be lazy. Then there's the politics twins, Radical Left, and Radical Right. And finally, there's Insomnia Sam, although he sleeps so much during the day, he might as well be Narcoleptic Sam. Uh, yeah, I was thinking, invite a documentary crew here. Have them record everything, kind of show the world what I'm living with. And ultimately, uh, I would review the footage at the end, and I would use it to decide who I'm going to permanently kick out of the house. I don't know who yet. I have some ideas, but... I mean, you know, it, ultimately, it's quite sort of unfortunate that I have to send someone out into the great wide world when they might not be ready, uh, especially when that someone is technically me. But... <sighs> yeah, hi. Hey man, what's up? Could you maybe, I don't know, not play loud ass video games at 2am? I was about to get to sleep at a normal time for once, and then suddenly I'm rudely awoken by you and your loud ass shooting and banging and hollering, and I don't want to hear it. I. I'm sorry, I'm just. I'm really tired, man. Uh, no, don't you go accusing me of anything. Last night I was playing a little, little puzzle game, it was, it was quiet, it was peaceful and tranquil. Oh, uh, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was called, um, uh, Silent Mystery Garden. Hey man, if you're so upset about noise while you're sleeping, why don't you just wear some of, some like, noise-cancelling headphones or something? How am I supposed to wear headphones? when they're currently around your neck, and you're using them to swear at 12-year-olds. I don't have to tell you, guy. I mean, you win some, you lose some. You know what? It's not worth interacting with you. I'm going back to bed. Isn't it like 4pm though? It's, it's not really that late. I don't give a shit what time it is. I'm going to bed. Screw you. Alright, whatever. If I care. Well, yeah, of course they should. Of course they should. How else are they supposed to defend themselves in their home? How else are they supposed to defend themselves from oppressive tyrants? None. None. Uh, the government's just gonna get in people's businesses and ruin their freedoms. A government left unchecked will just become a tyrannical mass that oppresses the working class. I don't want that. No one wants that. I'd sooner jump under a bus than let that happen.
Now, I'm not racist, but, uh... Me. I should. It's me, obviously. I do my part, I work hard, I run an online business, and it does quite well, thank you very much. I'm not about to spread the wealth and share all the hard-earned cash I've made with some limp left-winger who doesn't fend for himself. Each worker is entitled to the sweat of their own brow, and as a worker, as an, and as an individual, I choose to support my collective family, as we all pull our own weight. That's why I also choose not to support that pig-headed right-winger, because he needs to pull his own weight before I lend him a hand. Nah, probably not. In fact, I highly doubt it. He's probably using government handouts to buy anti-gun t-shirts on some hippie website. No way. We may look the same, but in terms of opinion, we couldn't be any more different. I bet even as we speak right now, he's writing up some thank you letter to the government. There is no way we, There's could, no agree way we could agree on, on anything. anything. Now then, now that I've gathered you all here this evening, I can tell you why this documentary crew has been filming us and watching, uh, watching over us for the past few weeks. I can tell you with absolute certainty that someone is leaving the house forever. Some of you may have already known this, perhaps overheard my conversation, but yes, this house is too cramped and frankly, I'm sick of the lot of you, and someone needs to go. So, who do you think it will be? Is it, perhaps, the rude video gamer who thinks he's better than the rest of us? Maybe it's one of the politics twins, who refuses to acknowledge the other one despite the fact they share almost the same ideals. Or maybe it's the guy who's currently asleep during this very meeting. Hmm, maybe. Well, I won't keep you in suspense any longer. The person who is being sent out of the house and never returning is me. I'm sick of all of you. You are disgusting, annoying, and frankly, getting rid of all of you at once is the best move for me. So, ta-ta. Yeah, you can keep the damn microphone.